Hello. Sometimes it's difficult to define something that we just do. From the time you were born, you have been engaged in learning. Think about how much you learned before you even set foot into a classroom. We learn by actively interacting with our environment. It is important to note that by the time we enter school, we are already expert learners. One key to academic success is applying the way we have learned to new, more formal learning situations. This short presentation reviews some basic learning concepts. Although we are adding some fancy words and concepts, you probably already know much about learning. The Virtual University Initiative can help you apply your learning strategies to your academic success. Here are some formal definitions of learning. Learning is an enduring change in behavior or in the capacity to behave in a given fashion, which results from practice or other forms of experience. Learning is a process in which the learner attends to surrounding circumstances and is changed by exposure to them. To learn is to gain knowledge or understanding of or skill in by study, instruction, or experience. And here's my favorite definition. Learning is fundamentally about making and maintaining connections biologically through neural networks, mentally among concepts, ideas, and meanings, and experientially through interaction between the mind and the environment, self and other, and context, deliberation, and action. So what do these definitions have in common? Each of these definitions suggests that learning is an active process. They suggest that rather than being consequential, learning is indeed intentional. These definitions place a large share of learning on the learner, on you. That does not mean that in formal settings, the instructor or teacher bears no responsibility. Indeed, instructors must always strive to find different ways to facilitate learning. However, these definitions do suggest that the instructor cannot make you learn. Indeed, instructors must partner with you and help you to learn. Learning is an active process. Think about how you learn the lyrics to your favorite song or a verse from a hip hop piece or poem. Or maybe you wanted to learn the latest dance. If it was a song, you heard it, liked it, and was almost instantly motivated to learn it. You may have added it to your playlist. You listened to it repeatedly and you learned the lyrics and flow. If it was a poem, you may have searched for the words on the internet. You learned to do the baby bop by watching others dance, breaking it down into its component parts, practicing by yourself, and with some of your friends. Essentially, you were motivated and you engaged strategies that led to learning success. Those same strategies can lead to learning success in the classroom. The other thing that the learning definitions have in common is the notion of change. Once you have learned something, you are changed by it. Your learning endures over long periods. How many times have you heard a song from back in the day and just began singing or rapping along with the artist as if you were indeed back in the day? Or how is it that some of you just automatically know that eight times seven is 56? Because years ago, you learned the multiplication table. 
indeed there is some permanence associated with learning. Sometimes we think we have learned, but then find out maybe not. Have you ever done really well on frequent class quizzes only to find out when it's time to study for the cumulative final exam you don't know as much as you thought you did. You did well memorizing some facts, figures, and procedures to do well on individual quizzes, but you did not really learn. Now it's final exam time, and you have to put in a lot of work to prepare. So you probably already know what it takes to learn. Indeed, we probably learn more outside the classroom than inside. In the classroom, it is important that you find ways to actively engage the subject you are learning. There is no such thing as passive learning. It is important that you partner with your teacher, parents, outside enhancement programs, coaches, friends, family members, and others to find ways to learn in the most effective way. The Virtual University Initiative is here to help.